Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Thursday, the 22nd of July. Starting off again with the uh, Argo blockchain, which has managed to bounce off the uh, last gap there with the one that uh, was at 82 pence at the beginning of uh, February. Double bounce off that. Also managed to uh, hit uh, the target, the initial target we had there at uh, the 200 day moving average of £1.15, which just above that as well. And uh, end of day close above that should uh, not only give us the 50 day moving average target around uh, £1.28, but also give the shares a chance of another push towards late June uh, resistance around the uh, £1.40 mark. So basically here above one fifteen and above that broken resistance line there from February, looking towards one forty as a best case scenario target over the next couple of weeks uh, stock which uh, gave coverage uh, a while back but has gone rather uh, quiet of late is Byzant uh, here we can see that um, the shares look like uh, like many other stocks actually at the moment delivering a, a bear trap after Monday's uh, little sell-off uh, bear trap on the market uh, the close below that old post March support there around uh, 0.18 and the view now is that by, while we're above 0.18 looking for uh, a possible push towards the 200 day moving average area at 0.25 over the next few weeks. Uh, nice to see that, or uh, it would be nice to see an end of day close above that resistance line there from uh, back in May. Uh, that would be the initial trigger for a move to the upside after of course the bear trap that we've seen stock which uh, was uh, had a little bit of fire earlier in the week is uh, cat and eye innovation and uh, the main thing here is that we've broken that falling wedge at uh, 0.9 pence and above that while we're above that looking for at least the uh, 50 day moving average for 1.4 pence and hopefully stretching towards june resistance through 1.5 pence over the next couple of weeks perhaps I mean, when the stock moves it can move quite quickly and we've got this nice consolidation above old resistance over the last three days for the shares a couple of stocks i'm looking at which are actually sort of in the bombed out category the first one is um uh, predator is uh, rather than no, giving the game away but it will be predator later but uh i media here we've got a situation where the shares are uh, uh, um, unbelievably oversold obviously after the um recent news from the company uh, i've got the chance of uh, a move back towards i suppose uh, 16 pence which was the initial support uh, after the uh, gap down uh, but uh, the current setup really suggests that we could get up to maybe the uh, post fall resistance around 18 pence even if the shares fall away again so it looks like uh, from ultra oversold levels the shares are ready to uh, re rebound i mean the rsi there actually at zero on the initial fall so that will see how that uh, pans out you don't often see uh, that kind of sell-off uh, in the markets on to uh, microsig which um, ha i know has a stock which has its fans uh, here we've got another uh, situation where uh, we had a bull trap there a gap higher and then it, uh, we failed and came back down again which was rather disappointing but uh, holding that range uh, between 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 i want to see an end of day close above the 50-day moving average at 0 0.23 uh, to suggest that it's safe or safer for the uh, bulls to come out of that situation. But uh, uh, it looks as though it is a stock bumping along the bottom in the 0 0.2 pence area. Uh, blockchain or um, Bitcoin, in fact, has uh, revived itself uh, during the week uh, from the uh, bear trap below the 30,000 level. Uh, that sort of revived uh, uh, on online blockchain as well. And it looks as though we've uh, hit the bottom there around um, the um, up sort of 27, 28 pence area. A uh, nice break of uh, recent resistance around uh, 33 pence as well. Uh, well, 34 pence actually for the shares uh, earlier in July and above 34 pence. We're looking for the stock to fill that gap up towards the uh, 50 pence area, which was June resistance. So basically undoing the decline. Uh, that we've seen over the last six weeks but above 34 looking towards 50 pence on online blockchain which obviously has a uh, some way to go to revive uh, itself in terms of the highs through one pound 20 that we had earlier in the year uh, another stock which is um, on uh, the uh, lower end of its range at the moment is um, oracle power and just a hint here with that gap down that we've had uh that it is uh, which uh, could be a, that it is an exhaustion gap and that the shares will make at least some attempt to uh, revive themselves initial target here back up towards the uh, fi uh, 50 day moving average at 0.48 pence best case scenario probably at the moment up to the 200 day line which has been resistance uh, for basically much of the last year the top of the range here at the uh, 200 day line 
And uh, that's valid while we make no new lows for the shares, which at the moment it looks like we will not, given how low the RSI went there, down to 12 uh, out of 100, which is uh, very, very low indeed. So perhaps a, a, a technical rebound from oversold uh, areas on that stock. No such problems at uh, Orf Open Orphan, which has uh, had a mention in a very highbrow medical journal today. And uh, here we've got another of those uh, sort of bear trap situations. A previous support there for the shares, the initial um, uh, July support at 23 and three quarters. End of day close above that could then see the shares at least initially heading back towards the 200 day moving average, which is still rising at 30 pence. And uh, while it is rising, uh, delivering a, po a possible uh, positive momentum on the stock. The other point to note there is that even though we had a lower low this week for the shares, the RSI was actually higher. So uh, we do have bullish divergence there again, another sign that there is positive momentum in the shares. This stage only really well below the 2021 pence area, really questioning the recovery argument for the stock, which obviously was uh, up towards uh, the upper 40s uh, only as recently as April. Stock which is a uh, favorite amongst the punters, uh, well, has, has been for quite a while, is uh, Oriol. And uh, here we can see that uh, the shares attempting to uh, break uh, a line of resistance, which has been in place since back in February. That line running through around 0.58 pence, so an end of day close above that. We should hopefully then be able to retest uh, the resistance for the stock uh, back uh, at um, the end of June at 0.77, so above. Uh, 0.6 area looking for or 0.58 area looking for 0.77 over the next month or so uh, clearly while uh, the upside uh, only valid while we hold above the 0.4 area which is uh, double support for July to date just a couple of shares to go now one has been uh, certainly been in the wars of late and it's uh, predator here uh, very interesting to see how the RSI now is at uh, uh, way down at uh, 14 out of 100 probably the lowest it's been since the stock was back at uh, uh, 2p, 3p back in the autumn, so uh, quite a, uh, a sort of a serious situation for the stock. But uh, it looks as though we're approaching uh, what would be uh, support for the shares, maybe in the three to four pence band at the worst. Uh, ideally, uh, a rebound above four pence, as that was resistance on the way up at the beginning of the year. But uh, that could be a play in terms of being. Uh, an overbought situation. Initial target there would be six pence, which was the uh, first peak that we had at the end of January. Finishing off with stock, which I don't think has made an appearance here before, but um, here it is for the first time. We've got uh, uh, Riverstone Energy and uh, couldn't resist really uh, this one really because we've had a uh, uh, an island reversal. I we had a gap down at the beginning of the week and a gap higher, so that uh, is one of the stronger charting signals. That suggests that the shares are in a rising trend channel heading towards the uh, four pound level. And uh, while we're above the 50 day moving average around uh, the three pounds 30 level looking for four pounds, perhaps as soon as the end of next month. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.